The Adoptable Pet of the Week is made possible by a grant from the Bafflin Foundation and by Whole Pet Veterinary in Westford. Hi, I'm Dr. Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. Stay tuned for my pet tip following the Adoptable Pet of the Week. <laughs> Hi, Patty Stalker here from Westford Cat and my very first Zoom recording back in my office, so it's kind of fun. Uh, I have with me today Crystal Arnott from the uh, Low Humane Society. She's the marketing and fundraising manager there. And I also have Lindsay Andella with me, um, and she is a foster mom for 12-year-old Doogie. So, Crystal, why don't you tell us a little bit about Doogie's history, and then, Lindsay, you can talk a little bit about Doogie and what kind of personality he has and what are his special lovable traits. Hi, so Doogie is a sweet old man that came to us as a stray. He was found wandering around and animal control um, and ourselves tried to find his owner, but unfortunately we were not able to track them down wherever they are. Um, but he is a love bug. We are uh, looking into some medical things with him. He um, does have um, an issue with his thyroid. So we have him on medication for that. And that is hopefully going to stabilize soon. Um, and then hopefully he'll be able to find a home. Lindsay, so how long has Doogie been with you? And can you just tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, so Doogie is such a good boy. He's been with us for about three weeks or so, and we have fallen in love with him. He's so amazing. Um, he is just very laid back and relaxed. Like Crystal said, he's 12 years old, so he pretty much just likes to hang out and sleep in his bed in the corner in the living room with us. Um, sometimes if I'm in a different room working, he will stand in front of me until I go get his bed and bring it into the room that I'm sitting in. <laughs> so he's a little needy in that one way, <laughs> but he's a really good boy. Um, like Crystal said, he's been taking medication and he takes it super easily. Um, it's, in fact, he actually waits until I give him the medication before he eats his food. So I, put his, I give him his medication, then he eats his food. He's very ritualistic in that sense. Um, He's great, he's house trained, so he always goes to the bathroom outside. He likes to cuddle with his blanket in his crate at night. He's been sleeping in his crate, no problem. We wake up early and let him out in the morning. Um, he likes to play in the yard and he likes to take walks with us. We live over by some trails and he loves going on the trails for uh, walks. We try not to keep him out too long, but uh, he's a good sport about it and he, um, he has no teeth, so people will always see him panting with his like toothless smile, and they always think it's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> um, and he's a mini pincher. I'm not sure if you mentioned that or we think he's a mini pincher, <laughs> um, but he's just such a good boy, really level of personality. And as you can see, he's just kind of hanging out here on my lap <laughs> through all of this, just really relaxed. So just likes being with people and sleeping, and he's really well behaved and calm. Yeah, you can tell. Look at how sweet he is. Like, just inquisitive. He's looking around and look. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. He's a cutie pie. So, Crystal, um, if someone would like to adopt uh, Doogie, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, he's such a great boy. Uh, you can contact us at the Humane Society um, by calling us at 978-452-7781. Or you can email us at info at Lowell Humane Society and just say you're interested in meeting Doogie. We will have you fill out an application and get you pre-approved and then schedule a meet and greet so that you can really get to know him and see this sweet boy um, for what he really is, which is just a love. He'll be a perfect addition to pretty much any family. Nice. Thanks, Lindsay, for joining us. Crystal, nice to see you as always. And we'll talk again next week. Thanks so much, Patty. For Westford Cat, I'm Patty Stalker. Hi, I'm Dr. Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. Just like you and me, pets can suffer from a range of different allergies. Allergies are actually pretty common. Pets can be allergic to dust, pollen, molds or mildews, and sometimes food proteins. Signs can be mild to debilitating. Most commonly, we see itchiness, especially around the head, feet, and tail areas. Dogs can create big problems by chewing on these areas, and cats can cause wounds from scratching. If you suspect your dog has a food allergy or sensitivity, 
It is important to work with your veterinarian early in the disease to eliminate the confusion and guesswork that comes from randomly switching foods. There is no one-size-fits-all treatment for allergies, so it is important to have good communication with your family vet. Allergies are a lifelong problem that can prove frustrating to owner and veterinarian alike. Develop a partnership with your vet for the best long-term outcome. Thanks for listening. See you next time.